Dogs, this is Eric Kim. All right, so another, uh, another turbo thought. So the question on my mind is, do people got a will to power or a will to not, a will to self-preservation or a will to fear, to allay their fears and so forth. So for example, I think a lot of people try to control other people and maybe the deepest root of that actually is fear. Fear that if they cannot control everything, and I think this is the, maybe the methodology of planners. If you cannot plan things, that means you cannot control external reality and what happens to you. And why is it not good to control reality? Because you're afraid that something bad might happen to you, whether pain, suffering, you know, death, whatever, maybe. Now, That's one thing. And then there's some people, I think, it's a will to power. So what does it mean to have a will to power? I think a will to power essentially means, you know, there's some people who are born generals, commanders, leaders, conquerors, and their goal is like kind of like Napoleon vibes. They want to use men as instruments to, you know, uh, gain more for themselves and to conquer and build up empires. Alexander the Great vibes. Now, from a morality ethics perspective, I don't think one is right and one's the wrong, whatever. It's just people's is different, right? And so I think some people want to be leaders, some people want to be followers, and whatever people want to be, just let people be what they want to be. Can't force others to be uh, something else. So the reason why I find this very important is that it's very fun actually, <laughs> is whenever people, and you know like, it's best to do this like face to face or just talking to people, it's just kind of like think, like, what do people really, really want? And, you know, obviously if you care and love about the peoples and stuff like that, you try your best to, to help them because you care for them. And if they're not somebody you personally care for, then maybe it's best to just kind of leave them alone and let them be as they want to be. Um, because, I don't know, the, the thing that's tricky is you know, this is an ethical thing. Should you help people if they don't ask for your help? I mean, it's kind of tricky. Um, at least for myself, I like it when people offer to help, but they don't force their help or superimpose it onto me. So I kind of like, you know, at least when people asking, it's just kind of like a nice gesture and I appreciate that. And so even for me, you know, I'm seeing somebody move their boxes, whatever, you know, I'll, I'll offer to help, but I won't superimpose their, my help upon them. And if I offer my help and they say no, kindly or whatever, or even meanly, I'm not gonna take it personally. I'm like, all right, that's cool. You know, I just, at least I put myself out there and um, asked. And so talking about the will to power. Um, I can't speak for others, but let me try to at least speak for myself. So for me, it actually might be more of a, a physiological artistic thing where I, ever since I was a kid, like, you know, I liked hanging out with my friends and uh, I was the one who generally would like organize my friends get together and stuff like that. But I never really cared to control people. I like to help to lead people, like kind of like Jesus leading the sheep kind of vibes. Go check out these. Nice flowers. Spring is here, baby. Right, so even for myself, right? Like, I've always had the delight of an artist. I like to draw, paint, sketch, imagine, and stuff like that. And I very, very much helped, uh, appreciated all the adult mentors, my mom and so forth, who helped me to get to where I am today. Now, this is, and so I actually do feel like it's my duty to give back to help empower other people because I, I could kind of see you know, young Eric in the past. And I'm, I'm very grateful for those who has helped me. So like, I want to just kind of give back and I, I love other people and I love about humanity. And so I want to keep, to keep sharing. And so my personal philosophy is, 
I like the idea that everyone in society could become all that they can be and to maximize their own personal greatness. And to not allow themselves to get bullied or put down by other people. And also, I personally don't believe in like killing war. That's, that's not something I personally believe in. Um, and so actually, this is what, one thing that's interesting about COVID, the virus, is that we're kind of at a metaphorical war where we're not at war with like an obvious, you know, human enemy. We're kind of at war with some sort of abstract notion. And so in times of war, it strengthens people, it builds resilience. Um, like Cindy said in her non-future film, it brings forth a uh, resilience long forgotten. So essentially, we need to remember, we humans were actually a lot more resilient than we think we are. And, um, and I think the fact of the matter is, we actually do need moments of difficulty and pain and stress and difficulty in order to awaken our resilience, our strengths, our powers, and so forth. And this is kind of a, a good thing. So when it comes to your own personal life and stuff like that, let us take everything and make it matter to your own personal benefit. Because obviously life is tough and life kind of sucks in a lot of ways, but I think the better analogy and way to think about it is things are difficult, but you know, if you think about like American Ninja Warrior, right? Uh, the obstacles is what makes the whole thing fun, right? And you gotta train to conquer the obstacles. So maybe right now coronavirus is the ultimate obstacle and difficulty where it's all about your own personal ingenuity, your skills, your strengths to overcome these difficulties and hardships to bring out your own inner genius. And so <laughs> let's think about more ninja, American Ninja Warrior, think about children. What do children want? What do we want in life? You know, obstacles is what makes life so wonderful, sweet and strong and worth living. And let us not shirk away from the, the difficulties of life, but thrive from it.